as Louisville police investigate what led up to bank shooting that left five dead. As Louisville investigators piece together what led up to a mass shooting inside a downtown bank that left five people dead, several victims remain hospitalized. NCLUDING a police officer in critical condition after a shootout with the 25-year-old gunman. The gunman, identified by police as employee Connor Sturgeon, was live-streaming online as he carried out the shooting at Old National Bank. Officials said. He opened fire inside a conference room during a morning staff meeting, Rebecca Buckheit Sims, a manager at the bank, told CNN. Buckheit Sims, who was attending the meeting virtually, watched in horror as the shooting played out on her computer screen, saying the incident happened very quickly. I witnessed people being murdered. I don't know how else to say that, she said. One of the hospitalized victims, 57-year-old Deanna Eckert, died later Monday, police announced, though it is unclear if she was among the three people in critical condition earlier in the day. The four other victims, who died Monday morning, were identified by police as Joshua Barrick, 40, Juliana Farmer, 45, Tommy Elliott, 63, and James Tutt, 64. Sturgeon, whose LinkedIn profile showed he had interned at the bank for three summers and been employed there full-time for close to two years, had been notified that he was going to be fired from his. According to a law enforcement source familiar with the investigation, the source said the gunman left behind a note for his parents and a friend indicating he planned to carrying out a shooting at his workplace, though it is unclear when the message was found. The gunman, who was still firing when police arrived, was killed in a shootout with officers, police officials said. At least two officers, including one who was shot in the head, were injured during. Monday's massacre is the 146th mass shooting so far this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive, as such tragedies continue to strike at the hearts of American communities while they go about the it also falls exactly two weeks after three children and three adults were killed in a shooting at a Christian school in neighboring Tennessee, fueling a fierce fight between Democratic and Republican. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear has ordered flags across the state to fly at half-staff until Friday evening in honor of the victims, but some Democratic lawmakers are concerned that the expressions of Gree